Good evening, and welcome to a monumental occasion, the opening of an extraordinary exhibit, Teachers College, Pioneering Education Through Innovation. I'm thrilled by the dazzling sight before me, 400 top leaders in education, philanthropy, business, government, and the arts all gathered in one room. It feels like we're actually creating history at this moment. I'd first like to welcome New York City Council members Gail Brewer and Robert Jackson, who along with other representatives of the city, state, and federal elected officials are on hand with us this evening. I want to extend our appreciation to the New York Historical Society Museum and Library and to its president and CEO, Louise Mirror. Thank you, Louise. We could not have found a more fitting venue to host this exhibit. I also want to thank the people most responsible for putting and pulling this exhibit together. Judith Burton, professor and director of the program in art and art education. Jennifer Mitnick, doctoral research fellow in TC's new center on history and education. And creative director and ex chief exhibit designer, John Boudreau. Thank you. This exhibit allows us to share with our fellow New Yorkers the rich and storied past of Teachers College and a vision for our future as we celebrate our 125th anniversary. True to our name, we have seized this occasion as a teaching opportunity in order to illuminate a period in our city's history when a handful of inspired philanthropic families established the signature cultural and educational institutions that have come to define New York. Teachers College was founded in the late 1880s by philanthropist Grace Hoadley Dodge. It was a complicated period in our nation's history. Waves of rural Americans and new immigrants from Europe were pouring into New York and other cities. Grace Dodge, working with later Columbia President Nicholas Murray Butler, had a vision for the college she founded. It would equip teachers with the knowledge and skills needed to help children from different backgrounds excel while bringing their families into the mainstream of American life. It was a revolutionary concept. I'm awed by the brilliance and insight of our founders and early leaders. Long before the concept of teaching the whole child came into vogue, these education visionaries were building a remarkable institution that would address the intellectual, physical, and psychological development of all learners. This truly was an exciting time in our city's history. To bring this period to life, we're fortunate to have with us this evening one of the preeminent authorities on New York City and the urban experience in America. Kenneth T. Jackson, Jacques Barzan, Professor of History and Director of the Herbert H. Lehman Center for American History at Columbia University, is an accomplished author, urban historian, and revered teacher. Over the course of his distinguished career, Professor Jackson has authored or edited more than a dozen books, including the Encyclopedia of New York City. His history courses at Columbia are wildly popular, renowned for fascinating walking tours and bus trips and the celebrated all-night bike ride from Morningside Heights in Manhattan to the Promenade in Brooklyn. As the New York Times has written, Professor Jackson's enthusiasm has been a gift to undergraduates at Columbia University who pack his immensely popular lecture course, History of the City of New York. Tonight, that gift of enthusiasm is ours. Please join me in welcoming our keynote speaker, Professor Kenneth T. Jackson. Yeah. 